Also interested in whole life, high cash value, building kingdom. Also, will you be having any live classes in, in Tennessee anytime soon? No. Um, I'm going to have a live event end of this year in South Florida. Come to South Florida when it's nice and pretty in, in December. Come hang out with me for an entire day. So you go to my website, denzelrodriguez.com forward slash live and get yourself a ticket. Come hang out with me. I'll be in, I'll be in Denver, Colorado this month with uh, Caleb, Better Wealth. For his event, June 22nd to the 25th, then I'll be at uh, uh, I'll be in New Orleans, October 17th to the 22nd, I believe, uh, for FinCon. Uh, let's see, Godson, uh, how do I do velocity banking when you're a business owner? Okay, cool. We can run through that real quick. So it's the same thing when uh, you're doing velocity banking on the personal, right? Same, same system. The rules don't change. The only thing that changes is your debt tool, right? So if you're a business owner, you're probably not going to use a primary resident personal HELOC or a personal line of credit. No, you're going to need a business line of credit. They have those on the business side. So that's literally the only thing that changes. Again, your income from the business goes into the business line of credit. Expenses come out of the business line of credit. Your cash flow stays in the business line of credit instead of staying in a checking account in a business checking account doing nothing right whatever debts you have on the business side those would be the ones that you'd be paying off if you are making a majority of your income from the business and let's say you have a lot of personal debt you can move personal over to the business right so what can happen is let's say you're a business owner you have your business income plus your personal salary right so your salary will cover your personal expenses any net cash flow any net cash flow you can send that back to the business right and then any personal debts we can run the math to see which ones we want to send over to the business which would land in the business line of credit that debt that you're trying to consolidate and move over here as well as net cash flow would now come back over here or you can do it in such a way where you can change your salary to only pay you what it costs to run your personal expenses right and then you're able to keep all of the net cash flow in the business right when you're in debt that's what i would do there so that's a, that's a quick one